and right here we got going my first ever uh, little uh, crypto video uh, just gonna be sharing my opinions uh, sharing some knowledge uh, gonna be learning a lot myself on the way and kind of just uh, helping to expose uh, some more people just to the whole crypto sphere um, it's definitely something that is suppressed in the media so uh, what what uh, more of a better way than to you know get into it through YouTube? So uh, thank you guys for all tuning in. Gonna try to get daily crypto update uh, videos going here. So make sure you uh, press that like button and press subscribe. Uh, really appreciate the support and uh, let's get right into the markets. So right here, uh, just taking a look. It's about 2 a.m. Uh, Central Time in the states. So yeah, we got chain link right there at uh, 15. So taking a look going down, we got uh, BTC down 1%, Ethereum down half a percent, XRP down a percent. We got Tether uh, right at a dollars, doing what it's supposed to do. If you guys don't know what Tether is, ticker is USDT, and Tether is a stable coin tied to the US dollar. Um, we got Bcash minus. 1.69 we got chain link minus 3.4 so $15 at chain link doing nice has been performing crazy uh, the past few weeks uh, running up from about like uh, seven bucks uh, last month so easy 100% uh, there and then topped off at about $20 so nice consolidation right there with chain link and overall uh, quite bearish on the markets you know uh, but nothing to be worried about. We still got Bitcoin at that mark at uh, 11,600. Um, I definitely just want to get into a little bit of news for y'all. Something that you know you ain't really uh, see on the daily. So first, uh, you're able uh, going uh, with a lot of uh, current. Uh, well, basically, I'd say we're in a global uh, depression right now. We just entered it, and just. Uh, if you want to, here's just some uh, analytics I want to show you. So if you just want to go to the, this is the feds.org, St. Louis Fed. Um, as you can see, this is the velocity of money. And just a reminder from Economics 101, uh, the velocity of money is the amount of money circulating, um, how often, you know, people are spending. Um, so right now the velocity of money is tanked and it's the lowest it have, has been since Wow, uh, yeah, you can just see right there. It hasn't really been this low quite ever. So, yeah, tr definitely troubling to see that. And that's obviously why we've had a lot of the quantitative easing to hopefully uh, su suppress this low velocity of money, but it is not working. And if you want to take a quick look at the money supply, as you can just see, due to the quantitative easing uh, after... Uh, the start of the whole COVID crisis um, has just really shot up the money supply just exponentially right there. Um, yeah, so if you're a U.S. dollar holder, that is obviously something you do not want to see. And as a result of all this quantitative easing, you're starting to see a lot of companies uh, put some of their cash reserves into Bitcoin. Because why? Well, they want to protect their wealth. They want to protect their wealth obviously for the people in the company and then also the shareholders too because um, a company's valuation is going to be based off a lot of its reserve it, held, it holds and in the future these these companies you know they're not thinking uh, short term they're thinking long term out of this global depression with which just started and when was the last time a global depression when was the last time a depression lasted a few months so we definitely have a year or two on the horizon uh, in this depression so a lot of companies are then saying okay how can we protect our wealth uh, we got hella money in US dollars right now um, you know because the Fed's just been pumping that out like candy um, so we have a lot of US dollars and we're a little bit uncertain of how it's going to be into the future knowing that um, just this quantitative easing has really excelled uh, inflation expectations so right here once again, this is uh, just from yesterday, so it's been a little bit of a trend lately for companies to hop on. First, we saw MicroStrategy, a NASDAQ listed company. So first we saw MicroStrategy listed on NASDAQ. They put about $250 million uh, in Bitcoin. So like 
this is this itself is a decent share of the overall just Bitcoin supply. And why are they going into Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin, um, you know, it's, it kind of solves a lot of the problems right now uh, that everybody is concerned about with inflation, and uh, they want to protect their wealth. And Bitcoin, obviously, with a fixed supply and the decentralized nature, uh, kind of offers the perfect safe haven for what you're looking for right now. So first, we have MicroStrategy putting in, I believe this was over ha over uh, half their cash reserves into Bitcoin. Um, yeah, I can't view that. Got to pay for a subscription, Jesus. Um, then right now we got uh, got Tahini's uh, Mediterranean Cuisine, some sweet, nice Mediterranean cuisine. Um, what they have done is they've put uh, a lot of, what did they, how much did they put? He moved, uh, he doesn't say how much reserves, but they put uh, a lot of their reserves into Bitcoin, obviously, with uh, the uncertainty on uh, inflation with the USD. Let's see if it says how much. Uh, it doesn't specify exactly how much. Um, oh, yep. He's entire cash reserves into Bitcoin. Okay. Yeah, so there it is. I thought it was all, but just wanted to confirm. Yeah, so as you can see, um, is this a trend happening? Is this a is this a little bit of a publicity effect? Well, no, I don't think this is a publicity effect. Why? Well, you know, Bitcoin is very volatile. This is something that can drop 20% in a day. Um, and I don't think, I mean, obviously times are uncertain, but definitely not uh, something that you're really going to be taking all that risk for on a publicity stunt. Um, there'd be much cheaper advertising uh, when, you know, with risk management, uh, thinking like that. But obviously, uh, he, the owner of this restaurant is thinking into the future and into the uh, uncertainty with the USD. Um, and then, yeah, so this one, yeah, this is the newest uh, company to kind of hop on the trend, I guess, if you want to call it. And they put 40% uh, of their cash reserves into Bitcoin. Um, so it doesn't specify um, the quantity of Bitcoin um, or the amount that they put in. However, this could just come to show you that, yep, citing com concerns of inflation and global economic uncertainty. So they chose to put their reserves uh, into Bitcoin because they want to be able to protect their company's net worth or just their company's worth. Um, and obviously, if they were holding a lot of their money in USD, what that's not going to be in their favor at all, um, simply as US as the USD inflates into the future. Uh, yes. Yeah. Also, guys, uh, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe and drop a like. This is my first uh video going up so it would definitely be interesting to see uh, where it goes into the future I'm going to try to get one of these going every day so it does a lot of support so please smash the like feel free to ask a question I'll be happy to help questions are always welcome and uh, I think that's going to be it for this update hope uh, if you have any recommendations or anything feel free to let me know and once again here's a quick look at the uh, markets take a look at the top gainers right before we leave yeah, so we got Kusama, 43.24, and then we got Ave. Yeah, Ave is just pumping like crazy, 25%. Ave is definitely a coin you could see in the top 10. Oh, I have some news right before we leave. I want to share about Ave. So Ave secures UK financial license, and then obviously we're seeing uh, the reaction in the price. But uh, Ave has been granted an electronic, electronic money institution license by the UK's Financial Conduct Authority. Such authorization will help the blockchain start up on board new users as well as key payment services. So basically what this is doing is with this uh, permission they've been granted, this is allowing, uh, I believe, uh, like uh, fiat ramping onto Lend. So this is going to make it a lot easier for just simply fiat to get onto Lend, uh, which obviously operates on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, so this is, uh, this is pretty crazy. Uh, crazy times are in. Um, definitely now is the time to be going into full-time crypto because this stuff is just um, it's really starting to become apparent and obviously as the global uncertainty uh, continues with uh, 
the whole COVID, um, Corona, Rona, depression, crisis. Uh, people are people are seeking into uh, more decentralized institutions. Obviously, as there's a bit of lack, there's more of a definitely more of a lack of trust between the people and uh, larger institutions in general. So that is all, guys. Thank you again for tuning in. Be sure to drop a like, drop a question. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, uh, stay crypto, guys. Keep stacking that silver. Keep stacking that gold. Keep stacking uh, those Satoshis. And uh, cheers. Stay blessed.